what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is van traveling with lady may i am lady may and this video i am going to do pertaining to traveling to the city of san francisco now i have worked in san francisco before um two different jobs actually and um it can be pretty hold on sorry it can be pretty busy at times um the reason for this video is i want to warn future van travelers that want to travel to san francisco for the very first time what where not to park um there are certain places in san francisco that um are absolutely a no-no or, or atrocious to park there if you park there you're automatically going to get cited for a um parking citation sorry i can't talk right now this is weird yes i look like a lumberjack right now but that's besides the point um yes um let's just get right into it um downtown san francisco this is a place where it's not okay to park as a nomad as a van traveler it is not okay to park there um the embarcadero the embarcadero is the beginning strip of san francisco after you've past the actual bridge toll plaza going into san francisco the embarcadero is a no-go for parking if you are planning to park for a long period of time i suggest parking in a parking garage um there there are some free parking areas um, and then for the rest of it is just par um, parking places. But there are parking meters. Watch out for those because if you run past your time, you will get a citation. Um, anywhere that is a red zone, obviously, um, right in front of the ferry building. Do not park there unless you are planning to do DoorDash, Uber, or whatever. If you are a van life nomad traveler um do not park there because you will get a citation and um it's not gonna be funny it's not gonna be fun um it's gonna be some serious business and you want to avoid parking there um now the embarcadero is a good place to sightsee there's pier 39 coit tower um endless seafood places to eat at there's um souvenir shops there's ice cream places um you can purchase um tickets to get on a cruise like the hornblower and whatnot um you can get tickets to go see um the place called alcatraz where the notorious um prison called alcatraz um is at it's kind of haunted but it's pretty cool it's fun to visit and um sightsee there um what else is there there's the chocolate factory or the garadelli chocolate factory near the end point of the embarcadero um you can visit once you pass the um pier 39 strip you can go there um but yeah my second street on the list here sorry i'm keeping a pinpoint of bullet point of what i'm trying to speak because i do ramble um the second place i do not sorry i do not um advise parking is third street third street in san francisco is a definitely no no do not park there third street is reserved for if you are going to see the San Francisco Giants play at the baseball stadium, there is reserved parking there and for other places for the people that are there to visit this, the baseball stadium. There's also, I believe, a Chase Stadium or um, 
um, some type of concert um, building to go see concerts in San Francisco. Um, that whole area is also like a business strip. So if you are planning to park somewhere for longer than eight hours, do not park there. You will get a citation. You will get a ticket on your windshield. Um, you might even get sideswiped. That's how busy and terrible that street is. Do not park there. As a nomad to another nomad, do not park there. Um, what else? Oh, busiest streets to avoid. Montgomery Street, Martin Luther King Street, Van Ness Street, um, Mission and Market are very busy streets, especially on weekends and especially when there is a an a event going on in San Francisco. Those streets are going to be very busy and you're going to just have a headache um, driving through San Francisco because if you're caught in one of those streets, you're going to be sitting in a heap load of traffic. So Montgomery, Martin Luther King Jr. Way, um, the Civic Center area, um, Mission and Market those streets you want to avoid now mission district that whole area there's like a ton of things you can do there's a lot of like places to shop at but there's like very little parking i repeat there's very little parking on mission street um, mission street is the long strip that connects the front part of San Francisco and the back part of San Francisco, which connects to South San Francisco. You will, by the time you hit the end part of San Francisco, it is, um, Alamany, you hit a city called um, Alamany or street called Alamany Boulevard. That is a very urban area, or should I say that's the hood of San Francisco. Well, one of the hoods in San Francisco. Um, yeah, so Mission is a very long and broad street. Um, if you are looking for a place to park, do not park there. Um, where else to not park? Oh, Ocean Beach. Ocean Beach connects California Street and um, what is that street called? Um, I forget what it was called, but um, Ocean Beach is only good for day parking. If you want to see o the ocean, the beach of San Francisco, um, I know there's Baker Beach and some other beach and China Beach. Um, Ocean Beach is only good for day parking. If you get caught parking overnight in Ocean Beach, you will get cited. You will get a ticket um, by the city of San Francisco and it's no fun. Um, go, um, my suggestion is try to see if you can park at the Golden Gate um, Park across the street from Ocean Beach. Now, I have seen some nomads get away with parking just for eight hours and then they moved their vehicle in the morning. Um, but for the most part, I do believe Golden Gate Park is just a day parking too, but yeah, look into it. But yeah, I have seen Nomads Park at the Golden Gate Park at nighttime. Um, yeah. But, um, what else? Um, places to park. Um, I'm just trying to remember. Um, there is a place in South San Francisco. There's two streets called Evans and Tolan Street. 
um Tolan Street you'll see once you drive down you'll see um a lot of different vans um like schoolies and um what are those called the A class RVs regular um camper van RVs you'll see like a ton of those there um it's kind of like a little like small um camper community um so yeah if you're looking for a place to park um just for eight hours or overnight um park there look into it first if you don't feel safe um just look around park there should be some spaces it's right next to a burger king and a mcdonald's i believe um what else where else can you park i would suggest the sunset district there are places cracks and crevices where you can kind of get away with parking on a street or like kind of like away from busy streets and away from residential there's like places where you can kind of just park but um again when you're parking in san francisco just be mindful um what else the whole foods parking garage on the street of harrison in san francisco um i highly suggest going there if you cannot um, make clearance i would not suggest going there um if your camper van if you're in a minivan or a pro master that is like a really flat top that does not exceed the clearance um you can go in the parking garage um for whole foods and you can park there for like i guess the longest is what four hours or three hours and you can like take a nap go into whole foods grab some food grab some groceries and then just go on about your day um I'm trying to think where else um there are some places in south san francisco nearby the um san francisco airport sfo not directly in sfo but there are places nearby where you can get away with just parking for the night and then just leaving in the morning um i want to say like the industrial area that's kind of like nearby adjacent to the um um san francisco airport not the amazon um warehouse but there is also um there's areas in that area where you can get away with just parking for eight hours and then you can just go on about your your day i also suggest you parking um at a campgrounds oh there is a place called candlestick park um i definitely recommend looking into it you might be able to get away with just parking overnight and um going on about your day or traveling through san francisco but um yeah golden gate park is an old park um i think they used to hold the san francisco giants games there a long long time ago like some decades ago but now they don't um so yeah um i suggest um just looking into it beforehand um what was i gonna say sorry i'm just rambling i'm trying to remember everything all at once um yeah so there are parts in bayview where you can kind of get away now bayview be careful because um there is a place called um hunter's point or hunter's point be careful of traveling there if you are a nomad and you are new to traveling san francisco be careful of traveling to um 
near Bayview Hunters Point. Um, that is also the hood of San Francisco. Um, you are subject of getting um, a snatch and grab situation where your car or your van might get broken into. Please be aware of um, parking in the area of Hunters Point. Um, what else am I trying to say for this video? Got that, that, that. Um. Oh, places to sightsee. Um, there is, of course, the Embarcadero, the Ripley's, believe it or not, Wax Museum. Um, there's like a ton of like lounges and bars in San Francisco. What else is there? Um, there is the Legion of Honor. Look up, um, Legion of Honor is like a um art museum history museum where um you just like learn about the different like um painters and artists and people that did like certain architecture and statues and stuff like that of san francisco um it's legion of honor is not too far from china beach so look into that um I want to say there's a hall of, um, um, I want to say of, uh, fine arts. Hall, yeah, there's like a, a hall of, um, music hall of fine arts. And, um, you can see like opera and music and stuff like that. Um, that's before you hit the actual original Golden Gate Bridge that connects the Presidio, San Francisco, and Sausalito. Um, Sausalito, Sausalito is a separate place that is part of San Francisco that um, you can go to like Point Bonita. That's a nice trip to go to. Uh, um, it's very beautiful. It's like a little island where you can sightsee. Um, they might have campgrounds on Point Bonita. So um, also look into that if you are trying to find a place to park at for a week longs in to sightsee in san francisco um what else was i was saying um what else i'm just trying to think um oh there's these little go-kart, I forget what they're called, but they're like little go-kart things. And um, you pay for like to travel around San Francisco in these little go-kart thingies for like two to three hours. And it's so fun. Um, you can do that. Also, look into um, traveling to a place called Twin peaks it is a mountain peak or a summit um that when you get to the very tippy top you can see all of san francisco if you've never been to san francisco or only been to san francisco once look into twin peaks um it is a beautiful like aerial view of um san francisco and i think this is like a very pretty place to take wonderful pictures of san francisco um also um on the way of going to twin peaks you'll cross this long broad road called o'shaughnessy street o'shaughnessy street reminds me of like a foresty area so it's like the forest area of um san francisco and what am i what else um the presidio if you are vi you're a van traveler you're a nomad and you are visiting san francisco go to the presidio it has a lot of military history if you're into military history go there um there's also um i kind of i want to say where like actors and stuff like that live at is in the presidio so definitely look into the presidio it's very pretty it looks like an island 
connected to um, San Francisco. Also, if you're into like anime and like um, Asian food, I highly recommend um, Chinatown. Go visit Chinatown. Excuse me. Go visit Chinatown. You won't regret it. It's a whole bunch of fun. Um, there's plenty of things to do in Chinatown. I'm trying to think, what else? What else can people do in San Francisco that are nomads? Um, I think I covered most of this. Oh! You can go on a trolley ride. It is the oldest train in San Francisco. Um, I believe it's you get on it at downtown San Francisco near the Embarcadero, I believe, or near what is it? It's like one of the the entry streets that um you go to. Um oh if you are traveling through San Francisco and you're a nomad and this is your first time, avoid going to Fillmore Street or avoid parking on the street of Fillmore. Fillmore is also the hood, the ghetto, the urban parts of San Francisco. Um, you will, you are at high risk of getting your van or your rig um, broken into the, and um, you will regret it and you'll start seeing stuff you don't want to see um, also another place that is not too far from the Fillmore area is the TLs and we call that or yes the TLs tenderloins the tenderloin area avoid parking in this area you will get a ticket also avoid parking in this area you're going to see people that are under the influence of all types of substances i call them the zombie people stay away from the tenderloins okay um The tenderloins you'll see from a plethora of people hanging out, very homeless like area, um, people doing drugs, people walking around um, nude, naked. Um, you'll see cars broken into. It's not safe for travelers. I highly do not recommend parking or visiting this, the street called Tenderloins. Um, if you want to visit the Civic Center, go park somewhere where it's safe and legal to park. If you're going to visit the uh, Civic Center building and the area, but other than that, avoid the Tenderloins. It is the ghetto. It is um, not a safe place to park. Where else? Um, mm, oh, you can also um, ride the BART. The BART is a train. Um, it's like the New York subway, but in the Bay Area, it is called BART. It is a train where you can Tra travel from one part of the city to the other part of the city to another part of the city to the another part of the city it is um by far good um there's also the muni train uh, muni train will connect you to milbrae south san francisco daily city um yeah so there's numerous of things to do in san francisco so i hope this video helped um people who are traveling to San Francisco, nomads that are traveling to San Francisco for the first time, um, people that don't know what to expect when traveling to San Francisco. Um, I hope this video helped. Um, 
I think I'm going to end it here because I feel like I'm rambling more. Um, I hope I didn't forget anything. But other than that, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I am trying to build my channel. So um, if you can hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons, please and thank you. I will end it here. Until the next time, thank you. Bye.